Hi Geeks, it is Tuesday, September 23rd, and Neil Patrick Harris was robbed at the Emmys. With my freeze ray, I will stop the world. With my freeze ray, I will find the time to find the words. So, I agree with Gideon that Lost was also robbed, and Michael Emerson was definitely robbed. But I don't think it's so much that the Emmys are biased against sci-fi is their bias towards HBO. I noticed that a lot of the movies and actors, actresses, etc. that won, by, by movies I mean like TV movies, that won awards were shown only on HBO because I had no idea what some of them were because I don't get HBO at home. And I just, I don't think that's fair. I didn't like it. I was really excited because Tina Fey won a few awards. 30 Rock won a lot of awards. My roommate, Meg, is excited because Stephen Colbert won an award. And I was pretty excited about the two. I'm a fan of the Colbert Report. I think he's really funny. And it was cool to see him and Steve Carell and John Stewart. Why did I just forget his name? I don't know. That was really bizarre. It was pretty cool to see all of them on stage together. That was really funny. Overall, um, besides all of the disappointments with Lost and Neil Patrick Harris being robbed at the Emmys, I would say it was pretty good. Um, some of the humor was just kind of not that great. It's like they try too hard. Like, for instance, when they were awarding the uh, reality TV show host awards, that was really obnoxious. I guess it was kind of funny, but the whole, after this commercial break, distracted it a lot longer than it needed to be. And I think everyone knew who was going to win because the odds of Tom Bergeron winning an Emmy for TV show host are about as good as the odds of heroes winning an Emmy. Speaking of heroes, um, as everyone knows, a lot of TV a lot of TV premieres are happening this week, including Heroes, which was last night. And as several people on my floor informed me, Gossip Girls also premiered last night, but I was not tuning in for that one. What? But, shut up! I'm making a video. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to them. Sorry. But, <laughs> sorry. Um, Heroes once again proved that they ran out of scripts in season one, and now they're just making it up episode by episode as they go along. From what I understand, there has been another family relation revealed and basically what I decided is that they are all related and they are all inbred so that is where they get their superpowers from. I think it makes sense to me and I'm sure we will find that out as season 3 progresses. If anyone actually still watches that show, I'm sorry. Not sorry that I made fun of it but sorry that you still watch it. Go watch Lost instead. So far, the only other TV show premiere I'm looking forward to this week is The Office, which is on Thursday night at 9, correct me if I'm wrong, and Supernatural came on last week, and I still haven't watched it, so I need to do that very soon, and I also miss House, which comes on, came on a half hour ago. Oh well. Um, so that's all for my video this week. Actually, I'm going to show you this, because I found it, and I bought it, and it says Geek, and it's my favorite color, and I liked it a lot. And that is all. I will see you guys on Thursday. And Gideon, I will see you tomorrow. Hi, Geeks. Today is Tuesday, July twin. What is wrong with me?